Hi Kickstarters, Dan here again. Just wanted to give you a small little tour of our particular facilities that we have here. Um, now this is by means not the only facility that we have right now, but uh, just for our home base we just wanted to show you what we have and how we go about what we do when we make what we do. So if you have here, we've got our Fidal CNC. Um, it's not turned on right now because we're working on a few other different bits and pieces of uh, machinery at this time, like the drill press and the lathe you have here along with our manual mill. So, all set up, ready to rock and roll. We'll be making just a few parts here and there. And now we're into the assembly room, where you can think of any other kind of uh, fastener in the entire world, and you'd probably find it here as long as, long as it goes into a small machine. And uh, those are our silicon wafers, along with uh, plenty of uh, linear rails and ball screws and a few other things. And over on this back wall here, you got even more fasteners. This is our stock room in the back for all of our current machines that we have, such as uh, this wafer aligner that we're working on right now to put together for some of our uh, customers. Um, this is the stack that we showed earlier with all of the uh, all the goodies on the inside of it, so ready to go for production. This is our electronics room, and uh, every other kind of tape reel you could ever think of, and any kind of component from resistors, capacitors, transistors, you name it, we've got it. So, and finally we're going to come over here to our CAD modeling room. Obviously this is what you've been looking for and what you've been waiting for and our project engineer right now has been working on diligently for tonight uh, to get the system up and running and printing again. So that's what we're working on right now. Over here we've got Harold, our CAD designer. Oh no! <laughs> Maestro, <laughs> A.K.A. Baldy. Yeah. <laughs> working on, uh, working on the next next. Uh, oh, what is this? Oh yes, this is the uh, plunger design, the um, for the new materials. So, this is just one of the designs that we're working on currently right now, and we're testing as well. So, next we go over here into the other room, and we've got our main programmer. Yep. How are you doing, Dan? Howdy. <laughs> we're working on making some of the OpenGL work within our system and with some of our software as well. So, so you guys can see a little bit of it. And this is going to become standard and come standard in our software. So, there you have it. You've got your software production room right here, you got our CAD modeling room along with a little bit of a testing station. Show them the library. <laughs> you want me to show them the library? Show okay. Them the library. Okay. Uh, well this is the library and um, to really and truly give it as, many, as much credit as possible, you got to take a look at some of, the, some of these books that we have. Um, some of these things you're probably not going to be able to find very easily. Um, let's see, uh, there's one that's kind of interesting. Handbook of Non-Ferrous uh, non uh, Metallurgy. Um, but that one's probably not as, uh, as cool as this one right here, uh, which is uh, Control of Nuclear Reactors and Power Plants. Let's see. We got another one here for uh, ooh, materials for missiles and spacecraft. Um, hmm. And uh, everything you'd ever want to know about titanium. <laughs> so we've got plenty and plenty and plenty of books that we, we use on a day-to-day -day basis and our knowledge is pretty pretty well uh, <laughs> expanded so here's just a few more that's the corrosion and oxidation of metals um, ooh, glass engineering handbook uh, vacuum technology so and then finally of course we've got these down here <sighs> from uh, loading handbooks and there you go so I just want to give you guys a quick tour as to where we work what we have and what we've been working on so I'll have a little bit more tonight when we actually do the live broadcast and we look forward to uh, surprising you guys with a few new things but uh, that will come in the next couple of days so please bear with us and thank you very much for watching. See ya.